Hello everyone and welcome back to Void Space Alpha. My name is Ollie and today we're continuing on with our playthrough of XCOM Enemy Unknown. If I have a look at the Situation Room we can see that we've already lost three countries which would be the United States, United Kingdom and France. We are on the verge of losing Egypt and Nigeria as well which means that we're actually getting quite close to a loss on this campaign. But we're going to power through anyway. We have precision lasers in one day and a council report in nine days. We've got a little bit of money, but um, actually not that much. So there's not a great chance of us reducing panic across Egypt and Nigeria unless we get a mission there prior to the council report, there's which could be quite bad. Coming in from the council. council is requesting your presence in the situation room. Target extraction. Um, it is going to give us panic reduction and extra scientists. Let's launch that mission. I'm confident that you will handle this matter with So we have oh Captain Anderson. You must have been a unit that we got from the last mission. Um, reaction on enemy attacks. We want that. We would like smoke and mirrors. Yes, please. Rifle suppression. Uh, no, I would like you to be a reviver. Dense smoke or combat drugs. Let's go for dense smoke, and that's where we're going to go. Let's customize your loadout while we've got you. I believe the skeleton suit is going to be the best in terms of your weapon. Let's change that out and let's give you a med kit because you're our reviver. Um, then we also have recruit Matsumoto. You are wearing the wrong kind of armor, my friend. So let's get you the skeleton suit. And I don't believe we have a heavy laser. Um, well, we do actually, we just can't give it to you because you are a standard soldier. So let's get a grenade on you. Um, nanofiber vest, that gives you what? Extra two HP. I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. Um, weapons could be better actually. We don't seem to have that many laser weapons or sort of futuristic weapons so let's change that out do we have any precision lasers we do not okay so our snipers are going in without those and the shotgun I'm gonna change you out for the plasma rifle there we go so it's just the snipers that are going in without futuristic technology Oh, it is an African mission, so maybe this will reduce Strike panic one. in Prepare Egypt and Nigeria. We're heading to South Africa. For Escort the target to safety. Oh yes, we've done one of those before. So yeah, I think my goal here is going to be to get the target out and not lose any soldiers. Which I think we did the same extraction mission on the same map, I believe. Um, let's get you over to here and let's get you over to here okay we've spotted somebody already who, have we, who did we spot on the way over doesn't show me now unfortunately you don't actually have enough run to get into cover you can get up behind here Yeah, I know it's not the best cover in the world, but it is what it is. We're going to find Anna Singh. And look, now while we're cycling through these and putting everybody in Overwatch, I think it's a great time to say thank you to the 1,700 people that have subscribed so far. Um, that is truly amazing. If you're enjoying watching these, do leave a comment down below. I'd love that and love reading all of them and responding to them. So, yeah, do that. <laughs> We did spot an alien at some point, but I couldn't tell you where it was. So, yeah, let's just get these guys to bound up. You've got the grappling suit, but you don't have the perk that allows you to move and overwatch, so you're going to move and overwatch. That means that you can get up to here. I think we could probably get away with just a single dash over there. Um, you can get up to there. Time to kick this sucker. All right, yeah. So we have three thin men. 
They are going to trigger some overwatch. Okay, that's one down immediately. That's great. I like killing Thin Men because you get decent amounts of uh, weapon fragments. So, okay. Cool. Can't put you in Overwatch, so you're just going to hunker down. Which means that uh, you are going to go up here and go. You got a shot off? You got a 53% chance, actually. That's probably worth taking rather than overwatching. Yeah. There we are. And yeah, let's put you in Overwatch. There we go. It's going to trigger my Overwatch. Go on, do it. Perfect. Three shots, three kills. Great start to the mission, taking no damage ourselves. So we can begin moving up. Now, who can you see? It says we can see one alien. I'm curious as to, oh, apparently it's over here. Okay, well I guess I'm moving up. Still no targets available. And you can't overwatch because you're a sniper, so that was actually a bad move. Let's continue to get these guys up and into position. Hoda Turk, you can overwatch because you're a badass. And you have the perk that allows you to do so. Eyes on target. Okay, we've got some more thin men. Got a 42% shot, is it worth taking? We'll think about that for a moment. Whilst we bring. I feel like they are going to have to move towards me, so that my best bet is to get overwatching. And then we've got Kozlova here, Anastasia Kozlova. I think you're going to be best on Overwatch as well. And I think we just try and take this shot. 42%, not feeling super confident. No, but uh, here's what it is. Can't win them all. Surprised he didn't uh, trigger any Overwatch there. Okay, yeah, he did know that punching them up would cause a bit of poison opportunity for them. And that thin man is now in Overwatch, which is going to allow him to shoot at anyone that presents themselves. We've got a 62% chance shot on here. I think that's the shot to take. Yeah, that is right. Now, you are well out of range, my friend. Do you have a shot? You do not. You do not. So I think it's just gonna be a case of dashing up. I think that's a pretty safe area. He is gonna trigger an overwatch from the thin man. Oh, he is going to get hit, but thankfully, only for two damage. Or was that three damage in total? Yeah. Um, that's his overwatch used, right? So, can I get you to. Can get you to dash up here. And I'm going to get you into cover somewhere because you are poisoned. Where can I get you into cover? It's a strange one, because there isn't a lot of cover actually in this direction. Let's just get you over here, behind this bench. No, it's not the best cover in the world. But it is cover nonetheless. So I'm going to put these two guys into Overwatch, um, just because they're holding a baseline behind the fountain in pretty decent cover there. Oh, it would be great if we sniped him. I think snipers are great in Overwatch. Yeah, so these guys are poisoned. I think that means they're going to take one damage every turn. I don't think that stops. So that's potentially two dead soldiers. Let's get our light plasma guy up. Two more thin men. Oh, sorry, correct myself. Four. 
poor thin men. And we found the VIP. So we got a 70% or a 60% the one that's flanking us. I think we're going to have to go with the one that's flanking us, right? Is that right? Or do we just go with the one that's the easiest to hit? I think we're going to have to go easiest to hit. More of a chance of actually killing the herd. We can use other soldiers to counteract that flanking move. So I can bring this soldier up to here. And yeah, you've got a 70% chance of hitting this guy. Okay. So that was a good hit, but now that soldier is out in the open. This soldier has no real direction they can go to get some good shots off. So I think it's going to be a case of bring you over to here. Is that going to give you a shot on that guy? Nope. So that's Overwatch territory there. You can get over here. That's a very short bound for you, actually. Overwatch. Uh, Mr. Long... Oh, Mr. Mrs. Longbow Turk. Let's get you over to here. Yeah, you've got no targets available, so you're going in Overwatch. And then we have uh, the yellow bastard who's going to go over here. And he can't Overwatch, so he's going to hunker down. It's a shame he couldn't Overwatch, but hopefully Hoda, Hoda Turk can take this guy down. Yes, yes she can. She has quite a few kills to her name now. She's doing incredibly well. Another Overwatch there from a laser rifle. Over here! I'm here! So we need to get to Anna. Can we control Anna directly? No, we can't. Oh, I just accidentally right-clicked there. Did not mean to do that. So I guess that means that uh, our heavy gunner is going to go into... Oh, that was a dash as well, so I can't even go into Overwatch. Okay, is what it is. Sometimes you click things that you don't mean to. You need to reload. Let's bring you up to this corner here. I want you overwatching. Hoda Turk, you're going to cover this side with your one shot left and you are going to continue to cover that flank there and we're going to use Mr. Fuji here to go and make contact with Anna. You have to help me. There's just so many of them. I'm doing my best. Everywhere. We have to get out of here. I don't know who you are, but I'd probably be dead right now if you hadn't yeah, shown up. We've got to get her to the extraction site. We should get the site. VIP back to the Sky Ranger on the double. Yep, yeah, we're definitely going to do that. So she is going to dash all the way back to the fountain. And that should be our turn. reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. Okay, thin man drops in and he's in Overwatch. Another thin man drops in on Overwatch. We do get a reaction shot, and we are poisoned. We take down a thin man. Hode is really earning a, earning a pay at the moment. I need ammo. Yeah, she is going to need to reload. Who do we have access Those to here? Things. So let's continue to dash. So many bodies in there. I'm gonna dash you back understand. here so you can at least be covered slightly. Um, and then I'm going to start bringing soldiers back with you on the overwatch. Uh, you need to reload, which is fine. You're going to continue on overwatch. We will bring you back. You're probably the only soldier we can get away with dashing because you're so far away. This soldier with the laser rifle, you can come back. I know we're putting them out in the open, but I want to protect the VIP. And you can get yourself back here. Overwatch up, also. Intel suggests hostiles are headed right for you. Here we go. Come on, yellow. Make your shot. Oh, it's a miss, unfortunately. Pretty sure he's got the arc pistol, hasn't he? The arc thrower? Or is that a laser pistol? I don't know. 
Yep, yeah, he's poisoned okay. another soldier of ours. And some thin men are dropping between us and the Sky Ranger. On Overwatch, no less, so that is going to be Thank tricky. Thank God you found me. I would have ended up just like... Let's bring you down into the open. I know that's risky, but I want to trigger the Overwatch on someone that's got full health. Okay, this thin man is reclining. I'm taking fire! Okay. And we've got an 82% chance of actually slotting this thin man, which we do. Nine for a crit, that's fantastic. And then we want to continue to bring our forces backwards here. Putting everyone on Overwatch. Can I get anyone down? I mean, there's no point moving you, because you haven't got the move and shoot perk. You definitely need to move. So let's bring you down to here. Oh, was that a dash? Didn't know. Uh, you have reloaded, so let's put you onto Overwatch again. And yeah, we just have Anastasia left here. We can move down to here and go into Overwatch. Just keep your head down, VIP. Advancing on your location. Ready up. Okay, what hostile did we have landing over here? Oh, it's just another thin man. Hoda, it's your time to shine. Perfect. That is fantastic. And then let's get the VIP back to the Sky Ranger. What I want to do is bring at least a soldier down here to sit in Overwatch whilst we dash you forwards. You're almost home free. So let's bring up another soldier will be Kenji Matsumoto you can go into overwatch and I think everybody else is just going to do the overwatch thing just in case they drop some troops one. in opposition is headed towards you repeat hostiles approaching your position okay I think that is the VIP in the Sky Ranger on this this run isn't it oh no because she dashed I don't think she can dash again so yeah I think it's just another case of Let's. Uh, oh, I reloaded with that one, unfortunately. Oh no, we can get the VIP to the Sky Ranger. Here we go. Thank you. Oh my God. There we Thank are. So Mission much. accomplished. Nobody died. The VIP got out with full health. Let's see what that's done to the panic in Africa. Okay, so great news. Um, four of our six soldiers have been promoted, but uh, Kenji Matsumoto has been wounded. He has got his training for his headshot, which is great. Um, this chap here, Yataka Fuji, is now a corporal, and we've got a chance to pick between tactical sense, which is five plus defense per enemy in line of sight, or aggression, 10 critical chance per enemy in sight. I like the defense more, especially if he's gonna be rocking the plasma pistol. Um, low profile, that's good. That makes partial cover count as full cover. And Major Kazlova, oh, we should double up on the rockets, I think. What's this one, though? Additional damage based on weapon tech level to suppression and all area effectability. Nah, let's have an extra rocket. That sounds awesome. So, yeah, great mission. 24 weapon fragments, panic reduction, and five we scientists. Let's have a look at the situation room. Was it just in South Africa? It was, unfortunately. So we still have Egypt and Nigeria to go. Precision lasers are a day away, and the council report is nine days away. Let's have a scan, because that will give us the precision lasers that we need. Which I think is more than uh, than fair. These new fighter craft are your efforts exactly to what the we need. Team commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. And we're going to see if we can get some precision lasers, if that's possible. Laser pistol, laser rifle, laser sniper rifle. We can, but we require 17 alloys, so we're going to have to wait out on that. Council report in nine days. Um, did we get some money? We did. So perhaps we can buy a satellite. Is that possible? 
Command. Yes, we can. Our current satellite uplink facilities are. We don't capacity. have enough uplinks. We should build additional uplinks as soon as possible to allow for new satellite deployments. Yeah, we're going to excavate some land just in anticipation of that. I think we are going to lose a couple of countries come council report time. Excavation complete. Incoming transmission. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Nigeria and Egypt have withdrawn from the XCOM project. From this council. That leaves us in a difficult position. That is unfortunate. Excellent work, Commander. So we're this now only three countries away from this losing this game. Worthwhile. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an enduring effort to eliminate the extraterrestrial threat. We've got two days left Remember, on the fighter craft research. We... So let's wait for that at least. Ah, oh, we really could have used that fighter craft here. It's a UFO 8. It's large. It's over Russia. I think we're going to have to ignore it. Commander, the council isn't going to be happy. Russia is in panic. We need to protect our satellites or we're going to lose coverage. Did we just lose a satellite over Russia? I believe we did. Satellite uplink facilities at yes, we did. Capacity. I can't launch Additional another one over required. Russia. But we need to bring panic down in Russia before... Is, is there like a way of reducing panic that I'm missing out on? Um, because, yeah, otherwise, I'm, yeah, I'm missing the plot here. Do we have... Yeah, we have satellites in every European country that's still left, which is literally just Russia and Germany. Um, so the next most panicky nation that doesn't have a satellite is going to be Mexico. So I think we launch a satellite. That brings Mexico down quite massively. And then perhaps by completing a mission in Russia, we can um, reduce panic there. Now, I wanted to just hit that button so we can get the new fighter craft. We're going to assign new research. That gives us the hover shiv and new item available, Firestorm. So we'll continue to research stuff. Let's do the Titan armor. Just purely because it's the, the only thing we've got. Um, this morning, Commander. We've got We're money for. Glad to have more and then let's here. order some interceptors. Mm, no. When selecting a specific jet within the hangar, you can choose to modify its current Okay, I didn't realize you could do this. Serve our needs. So we've got tons of these plasma cannons, actually. But I haven't been changing them. So let's put those there, those there. We've got no interceptors over Africa, so let's at least order two. And engineering, can I buy or build a firestorm? I can, but it requires a lot of stuff um, that we don't have, Illyrium and alloys. So at least we've got that unlocked for now. And uh, yeah, I think um, I think this is going to be a bit of a struggle now, but that's where we're going to leave this episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you've gotten this far, we are three countries away from actually losing this playthrough. So there's quite a lot on the line. Russia is likely going to leave at the next council report unless we can uh, unless we can reduce panic there. So that's going to be where our focus is. And uh, and yeah, look, some more videos will be popping up on your screen now that I hope you find interesting. Please do check them out. Comment down below. I read every comment and, and respond to them as well. So thank you very much for that. Thanks again to the, excuse me, 1,700 people that have subscribed so far. It's absolutely blown me away with your um, your ability to click a button and make me you feel better, which is awesome. Directly with Dr. Valen, although I'm not sure she'll be very open to the Is idea. he listening to me? Is he listening to me? Because I was just about to say, until next time, bye for now.